let's have the first example. Say we have to find the remainder when x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x plus 2 is divided by x plus 3. So according to the theorem, we can find the remainder if we can actually find the remainder using two ways. The first one using synthetic division and the second one is to uh, calculate for P of R. So let's try first the first one. The first way is using synthetic division. So when we are using synthetic division, let's first look at our expression so our dividend p of x must be arranged from highest degree to the lowest degree so the first term uh, the degree of the first term is 3 the degree of the second term is 2 the degree of the third term is 1 and we have the constant which is 0 so by observing the degree of each terms 3, 2, 1, 0, we can say that the given P of X is arranged properly. So, we can write it down na. X cubed plus 2X squared 2X squared minus 5X plus 2. Okay, next, we have to divide it by X plus 3. This is your D of X or your divisor. How can you get uh, the value of x here? So x plus 3 is equal to 0. You have to equate it to 0 to get the value of x. x now is positive 3 will go to the other side. It will become negative 3. So your d of x is negative 3. So in synthetic, we will be using negative 3. Okay, now... Let's get the numerical value of each term. x cubed has a numerical value of 1. 2x squared has a numerical value of 2. Negative 5x has a numerical value of negative 5. And the constant is as, as is. Okay. Next. Next step. Bring down the first uh, numerical coefficient and then multiply it with your divisor. Or your d of x, should I say. So, 1 times negative 3. Positive times negative, negative. 1 times 3, 3. And then, lagay natin siya sa baba. Nung second numerical coefficient. Negative 3. Okay. Next, you have positive 2 and negative 3. Isang positive, isang negative. So, we have to subtract. 3 is larger than 2, so negative ang sign, kasi negative ang sign ni 3. And then 3 minus 2 is 1, so you have negative 1. Same process with letter A, you have to multiply negative 1 times negative 3. Negative times negative is positive. 1 times 3, that is 3. And then lagay natin siya sa baba ng susunod na numerical coefficient. And then, let's evaluate negative 5 and positive 3. Isang negative, isang positive, so you have to subtract. And 5 is larger than 3, and the sign of 5 is negative, so ang final sign natin negative. And you have to subtract. 5 minus 3, that is 2. So, 2. Negative 2. Okay? Next, negative 2 times negative 3. Negative times negative, positive, and 2 times 3, that is 6. So, positive 6. And then, we have positive 2 and positive 6. So, pareho silang positive, so the answer is 8. So, using the synthetic division, we are now done in finding the remainder. So, therefore... When x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x plus 2 is divided by x plus 3, the remainder 
is 8. So, yun yung nakuha natin kanina. So, therefore, yung last natin dito sa ating synthetic ay tinatawag nating remainder. So, that is your first way. How about uh, using the second way? In the second way, we have two letter B. You have to calculate P of R. And to calculate P of R, sabi niya dito, to in calculating uh, the value of P of R, you have to substitute R in the polynomial expression P of X or you can use synthetic division. Okay? So, try muna natin yung uh, calculating P of R by substituting uh, the value of R or should I say the P of R Substituting R in the polynomial expression P of X. Okay? In this case, ang ating P of R, ito. Yung value ng X. Okay? So, we have to we have to substitute P of R in our P of X. So, ito yon. So, P of X is equal to X cubed plus 2X squared minus 5X plus 2 when R is equal to negative 3. Ito yon. Okay. So, let's substitute. Lahat ng, uh, lahat ng x natin, papalitan natin ng negative 3. So, r is also known as, in here, is x. So, substitute. Magiging p of negative 3 is equal to x is negative 3. Since may negative ka, lagyan mo ng parenthesis. Plus 2 times negative 3 square minus 5 times negative 3 plus 2. Okay. Now we have to uh, perform the indicated operation. Let's first evaluate uh, negative 3 raised to 3. So, negative 3 cube means negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. Negative times negative, positive, 3 times 3, 9 times negative 3. Positive times negative is negative, 9 times 3 is 27. So, we have 27. So, P of negative 3 is equal to negative 27. Okay, plus 2 times, how about negative 3 square? So, negative 3 square means negative 3 times negative 3. Negative times negative, positive, 3 times 3, 9. So, negative 3 square is 9. And then we have negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 3. Negative times negative, positive. And 5 times 3 is 15. So we have positive 15. And then copy the constant, which is 2. Continuing the process, we have negative 27 plus 2 times 9. That's 18 plus 15 plus 2. Next, you can simply input this in your calculator if you have calculator. So, pagsamahin muna natin yung magkakapareho ng sign. So, 18 plus 2, 20 plus 15, 35. So, we have negative 27 plus 35. Negative 27. Plus 35. 
and you have negative 27 at saka 35. Negative yung isa, positive, so you have to subtract. And 35 is larger than 27, and the sign of 35 is positive, so positive ito. And 35 minus 27 is 8. eight. So, the remainder of P of negative 3 is 8. So, let's compare. Therefore, P of negative 3 is the remainder, should I say, therefore, the remainder when the remainder of P of negative 3 is 8. Check natin kung pareho. Dun sa synthetic na kuha natin ay 8. Ito. 8 yung nakuha natin sa synthetic. Ito, 8. And then, yung nakuha natin remainder din dito ay 8. So, either way, pareho yung sagot. Okay? So, that's how you solve or find for the remainder of a given expression when divided by uh, x minus r.